Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a lovely day. Now, I've just got in from work. I would not normally be filming a video in the evening. I tend to do them on the weekend, but I'm having work done at my house. So this is gonna be the only option at the minute I'm gonna be having to film. So, excuse me if I'm looking a bit ratchet, but such is life. But I wanted to bring in this video today to talk about Jeffree Star and at Manny MUA, or Manny Moore, as some people might say, regarding the law, the lawsuit that has been filed against them from Black Moon Cosmetics. Now, uh, if any of you don't know who Jeffree Star and Manny, who are, or, and who Manny MUA are, they're both makeup artists who have millions and squillions of subscribers, and Jeffree Star has his own makeup line as well. So, um, Black Moon Cosmetics, as I said, has filed a lawsuit against Jeffree Star and Manny MUA. Now, if you're wondering what all the fuss is about and why Black Moon Cosmetics are doing this, it's to do with the logo that Manny MUA and um, Jeffree Star are using on their collaboration together. They were bringing out, I think it was like a highlighter and some lipsticks. Well, it was supposed to be in a few days. For that is possibly on hold now. I'm not too sure where the state of play everything is at the moment because I'm not too sure. I, from what I've seen, neither party, neither Jeffrey nor Manny MUA have actually come forward on Snapchat or anything like that and actually discussed this because they've probably been advised not to and it's probably the best thing to do at the minute. But I'm going to try and put some screenshots on the screen and I'll tell you something actually, there's a really, really good article about it and in language that normal people can understand from cosmo cosmopolitan.com. Um, I'll try and link it below, but otherwise just search Cosmopolitan, Jeffree Star, Manny, Black Moon Cosmetics and it will come up for you, no problem. And that's a really, really good article actually to sort of, you know, go through and read in, like I said, easy language for the, mo for the normal Joe blogs on the street. So I'll try and, as I said, insert some screenshots, but the actual complaint was filed by a MacArthur law firm on this Monday just gone and the alleged sorry my screen just gone, the alleges that Black Moon Cosmetics was the first cosmetic company to use packaging incorporating a mark consistent of holographic crescent moon on a black background to distribute cosmetic products. And basically what they're saying is Jeffree Star and Manny MUA have copied this. That's what they're saying, that's what they're allegedly putting out there. So if you do look actually at the, I mean I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence of both parties in a minute actually. I want to see a bit more, hear a bit more about it before I decide. So this is coming to you from somebody who is impartial. But I can understand both parties actually. I sort of think how can you actually copyright that or whatever? How can Black Moon say that you know nobody can use a crescent moon? in their in you know products but I understand as well from their point of view because say you were in a shop and you had both products on the shelf people might get confused of which is which they you know because obviously people for certain, for certain things obviously when they, they know a brand they obviously know what their colors are and all the rest of it and they'll just reach for that product thinking oh yeah that's them I want this da, 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 da. and they could be picking up the wrong product the product there could be confusion with the customers and what is what so I understand where they are coming from now, from Manny MUA's point of view, I know I know for a fact, I mean, I watch Manny's videos, I watch Jeffrey's videos, and I know that Manny loves the moon sort of shapes and stuff like that, Jeffrey loves the stars, but I think where the problem lies is the fact that there's the holographic moon on the black background. I think that if it was on maybe a different color background or something like that, and you wouldn't, you know, there maybe wouldn't be such an issue with the whole thing, would there? But I think because that does look so similar, I think that's where Black Moon Cosmetics have just suddenly gone, you know, we're not happy about this. Whether they're right or wrong with it, I don't know. But at the minute, like I said, I do want to hear more information from both parties. However, their timing of doing this is really, really impeccable <laughs> if they want to cause a lot of damage because it is just a few days away from Manny MUA's and Jeffree Star's collaboration, which is due to drop. So... The collaboration was originally slated to drop on April the 8th. Now, it is not, you know, we don't know at the moment whether or not this is going to be able to happen. We don't know if the launch is going to be postponed or stopped altogether. I guess we will have to wait and see with what happens with regard to the lawsuit. 
and what the law firm supporting um, Black Moon Cosmetics have said, MacArthur Law Firm, I believe is the name, in a statement is that Black Moon Cosmetics is seeking an injunction to stop the sale of infringing products as well as damages including MUA and Jeffrey Star's revenue and Black Moon's attorney fees. So this could be pretty costly, especially if Manny and Jeffrey Star have obviously got all the will of by now, had all the packaging done, all the promotion, they might have to change it all or not we don't know yet do we but there's a possibility they would have to change it all that's going to cost them so much money so 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 much money so could be a real real pain in the bum for them now Manny MUA did actually contact and Black Moon Cosmetics I believe in back in around about September 2015 was it yes yeah, September 2015 actually saying to them how much he loved their packaging and you know how much he loved the moons etc etc and that he would love to try their products so Manny was a big fan of their the packaging I mean it's no secret to anybody out there so it's whether or not this has been done intentional or not because you know how can you sort of like trademark a crescent moon well, not trademark but how can you you know say that someone else is copying a crescent moon but I think like I said it's to do with everything together being so similar which has made black moon cosmetics look like we've just completely completely had enough of this and also if you look at um, many MUA is packaging on products he's done before it's very 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 similar I'll try as I said put some screenshots up for you so you can know what I'm talking about I'm not too sure on how the quality is going to be but I'll do my best for you but um, you can see they are very very similar I think it's to do with the whole placement of the font as well like the Manny MUA on the logo it's definitely not exact there are there are but there are real real similarities there and I can understand from a consumer point of view if you don't know about who all these people are it could be extremely extremely confusing to them what is which you know and what I'll also do I'll try and put up on the screen for you a picture of the collab you know material of Jeffree Star and Manny MUA as it stands at the moment um there's no doubt about it you can see the similarities to Black Moon not exact at all not exact but I can't actually see I don't know if you guys could let me know but the actual moon obviously got the moon and the star which I get that's obviously Manny loves the moons Jeffrey always has the star and it's them kind of coming together which I actually think is really really sweet I really really like that but I mean I don't know if actually in their packaging if the moon is actually holographic or not it's really really hard to tell I know on Manny MUA's previous packaging the moon that he's used the moon is definitely holographic but I'm not too sure on this one if it isn't. It looks just kind of like a plain goldy, like a plain goldy whitey colour. Do let me know if you know because I just can't tell from this picture. And as I said before, they're, they're timing, Black Moon Cosmetics, this timing of actually doing this is impeccable because they did it the day of the launch party. I mean, talk about trying to put a dampener on their night and like I said I really really can see both sides I can see how the company like how Black Moon Cosmetics have got the hump about it and I can see how Manny MUA and Jeffree Star are probably thinking hang on a minute how can you you know say that nobody else can use a moon but as I said it is of everything being so similar together but I definitely definitely do see both sides in it I really really do but Manny as far as I'm aware please do tell me if I'm wrong has been using moons for years so just because he says to somebody that he likes their packaging doesn't mean is copying them but like I said it does look very similar whether it's been intentional or not doesn't it and going on from that as well the law firm has also said that compliant goes and his money goes on to allege that the da -da 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 -da, Manny has also copied the packaging with a previous product launch for his brand and that therefore the similarities in design for his new collaboration with Jeffree Star were intentional so they believe this was intentional and that he did do this on purpose so in order to prove the point that you know if ever the compliant includes pages of social media going blah, blah, blah. so I'm rambling on a bit there about what I saw on, on um, Cosmo but they basically if you look on some of the comments on gosh on Jeffrey's page or Manny's page of this new collaboration they've come out with which I think is fab because they're such good friends that you know it's, it's riddled with people saying it looks similar to this it looks similar to, to that looks similar to black moon but then it's also other people say well hang on a minute Manny's always loved those moons he always always has and I know that but it is as I said I know I sound like a stuck record but it definitely 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 is the fact that together the black background of the silver you know moon it does look so so similar so I just don't know what to think at the moment 
So if you want to get really, really super technical, what Black Moon Cosmetics are actually doing and they are suing Manny, MUA and Jeffree Star for trade, trademark infringement. So as I said, before you know the logos are very very similar and that's the thing is it's going to be very very hard i think i think actually from somebody who's never seen never even heard of manny mua or black moon cosmetics or jeffree star they're going to automatically look at this and think yes it's too similar they've copied it but the jury's out there isn't it who does no i don't know what to think at the minute they are so similar i and also i tell you one thing actually i think from what's going to happen from all this black moon cosmetics they're not many people actually know who they are do they loads and loads of people now are going to find out who they are so for them it's kind of good publicity on their part because people get to know who they are people get to know their brand people are going to start searching them and start looking at them on google online and all the rest of it and see you know and probably get they'll probably get more sales out of this and jeffree star and manny mua is going to real real kick in the nuts for them because you know they're about to launch this collab and it's now possibly going to be halted but we will see i'm sure at some point manny or jeffrey is going to come out and talk to us about it but in a minute they are absolutely stum. so i do hope you enjoyed the video we will see what develops with this won't we as i said i'm doing this video after work i look ratchet but i don't really care such is life life goes on but anyway i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe if you're new and i hope you have a lovely day bye